So we're uh, sitting in the brand new 2017 Chevy Bolt with a B. Uh, very exciting. So this a, they showed this last year, but we actually couldn't even sit in it. So now we're actually getting to sit in it, test it out a little bit. Very exciting. So the first thing I'll tell you that um, it's, it's they've redesigned or they've designed this instrumentation panel and the controls to be a little different than what you might be used to in a Volt. One of the cool things is the screen is big and beautiful and gives you a lot of cool information. So you get the uh, you get the uh, the Apple uh, uh, Play and, and some of that kind of stuff built into this. You also have sort of a dashboard approach uh, on the front, so it'll tell you you know what phones plugged in, what radio stations playing, how your energy flow is working, um, and you can customize this panel to put whatever information you want on it. So it is a true dashboard approach, which is great. There's a special energy button here as well, which gives you even more information about your charging and how much you've, energy you've used and how you've used it and some of those kinds of things. So really nice job on this instrumentation panel and how they've organized this with the, um, with the climate controls all right here, all built very close to that. One other interesting thing that I noticed right away was sport mode is right here. So it's not down here with your shifting panel anymore. It's much easier to find the sport mode button, which is, which is great. Um, as you go down to the, your, your shifting panel here, very simple. It's just an, an up and down kind of shift approach. You have your um, electronic uh, parking brake right there. Some of your um, your USB ports are in there along with uh, with uh, another thing. So you can do the, the phone can hold right there. Um, some of these have the um, the auto charge feature or the, the, the char it'll charge it just by putting it in there. So nicely laid out, really nicely laid out here. There's a lot of room in front. Leg room, head room is actually really good on this. Um, so there's there's a lot of space here. I'm you know not the tallest of guys, but I feel incredibly comfortable in this right now. The other cool thing they built into this is something you'll see in some of the the sportier models, which is this. Uh, it's not turned on, so you can't see it right now. But the rear view mirror actually works also in conjunction with the um, with the rear camera. So the view out of the rear camera is going to show up right here. So there's no you don't have to worry about the sight lines looking behind you. You're going to see the exact view from the back. Of your uh, of your vehicle from the trunk area right out of this uh, your, your rear view mirror from that camera so that's actually a really nice improvement and feature on that um, the steering wheel very typical of uh, what you would find in uh, in your Chevy Volt uh, the controls here which control your front panel uh, you can play with your favorites your volume controls over here and then your you got your paddle for uh, for regenerative braking so um, they're, they talk a lot about this vehicle being um, a one-pedal drive vehicle, and I think that that is uh, absolutely going to be true. The back, the, the back seats, there's no, we don't have the big thing in the middle anymore blocking access. So while um, it's not the, the, the hugest amount of space in here, you do have a good amount of legroom. We just saw three big gentlemen from Chevy all pile in the back of this seat, and they all sat here fairly comfortably. Um, so you get a lot of legroom. You have the uh, you know the, the, the room in the middle. You even have the ability to pull down the, uh, the center console there, I believe. Uh, there you go. And you have a little cup rest right there. So you have a little place in the middle, a barrier in between the uh, in between two of the kids, and that will give you plenty of room. While my wife is not a big fan of this color, I actually like the burnt orange. I think it's actually a really cool color. It goes along with the uh, with the vehicle. Uh, and, and it was their original color. Now, when you lift up the uh, the hatch, you can see that the uh, the trunk area actually very nice. You get a lot of space in this this area, and it's actually quite easy to uh, take this down and drop the seats. And when you drop those seats down, if I took this off completely, what you'd see is a very large area to store stuff in here. Um, so if, if you need the to, to carry something, um, certainly plenty of room in this as well to, uh, to carry stuff. So, uh, trunk area goes up quite high as well. I'm just really happy to actually see this in person and, and be able to sit in it uh, in a production version of this. Um, I think this is going to be a great addition to the Chevy EV line, and I'm excited to get downstairs and drive one around.